<laughs> I do like this logo. The Dark Pictures Anthology. Man of Medan, here we go. I'm a bit late to the party on this one, but um, if you know me at all, I love Until Dawn. I haven't played it like a million times. I think I've played through it three times. Two on my own and one with a friend. And um, ever since that game came out, I've been saying, God, I wish the people behind it would like do an anthology. Just do a new game with a new horror story every time. And lo and behold, they did. So the real main attraction to this is that you can actually play it with online co-op unfortunately i don't really have that option right now um none of my friends have it i haven't really coordinated anything so we'll be playing it alone but uh still we're in f we're in interactive fiction land where i make decisions and shit just kind of happens so we'll see if anyone survives my attempt at playing man of medan that's gonna be interesting and this does kind of look like the therapist guy from uh from until dawn but I don't think it's him. I highly doubt it. Um, I hear this one has a slightly slow start. But we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, sure. Fucking skip to end. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus! Adjust the slider until the left image is invisible. The middle... Uh... This'll do. I, I don't deal well with the standard uh, brightness settings in games, so... Don't play alone or play alone. <laughs> I like that that's how they phrase it. That's really funny. Okay, settings. Let's see if we can set up some subtitles and stuff. So everyone can pay attention. Control, brightness, audio and language. Toggle subtitles on, please. They should be on as a standard, honestly. Text language, English, please. Audio language, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's been dubbed. <laughs> well then, is there anything else we gotta... Whoops. Sound effects, dialogue. Yeah, that works. Yes. Accessibility. Oh! Hold to complete button mash. Complete button mash events by holding down the button rather than tapping. Ooh, I'm I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. Enable per character subtitle colors. I don't think that's necessary. Toggle the sidebar information panel on or off during interactions. Nah. Subtitle background. Enable a high contrast background for subtitles. Disable QTE timeout. Single player only. Pressing the wrong button will still fail the QTE. I don't get what that means. But oh, oh, whatever. No, let's let's keep it as is. Subtitle background. Hmm. Now ah, whatever. We'll we'll see how it looks, and if it's unreadable, we'll put that on. But that will do. Let's just get straight to it. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Play alone. Rub it in. Why don't you? Continue. New story. Load story. Or scene selection. Chinese market. China. South Sea. Hmm. New story, please. I would be very happy if you gave me a new story. Hmm. Thirst has been quenched. Man of Medan. I have no idea what Medan means. Hello. Carrying not at all dangerous cargo here. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Those are so those are dead soldiers. <laughs> Go to your station! Yes, Dad. This is, um, this is less than awesome. Now we're in China. 
Or I guess we were in China the whole time. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, that's definitely how I drink a beer. Alrighty, Buster. You better mosey on back to the That's how people talk. Like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to it. Uh, buddy, that might not be a good idea. Can you fight? Oh, um, say nothing. Curious, tell me about my son. Wait, how do I choose? Oh, use the right one to choose. Why? Dubious. Oh, shit. That was by accident. When am I gonna hit the jackpot? Yeah, let's be a douche. All that glitz and glamour. Dragon tile or bamboo tile? I'm a fucking dragon. Let's go dragon. Look at the tile. Tell me what you see. No, okay. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects and use RX7. Okay. It's a fish. It is indeed a fish. So what does that mean, oh wise one? Well, that's fucking vague. Oh, that's less vague. I don't like that. <laughs> that isn't even out yet. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the I wanted Animal Crossing. Hey, bud, let me get it going. Oh yeah. What the hell is this? Can you do better than your friend? What the hell is even happening right now? Oh, this is to teach me uh, quick time events, I'm imagining. <laughs> that thing is hilarious. Alright. R to aim and R2 to punch. I'm not sure these machines have ever been a real thing. At least not like this. But that is funny though. Whoa, shit, okay. There are quick time events involved. Jesus, this looks dangerous. You had this at a fucking market? What are you talking about? I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, fuck. Ah, I didn't hit it. Thank you for coming to play. Have a nice day. Did I do better than him or? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. All right. Back to the ship. I'm definitely curious as to what's going on and gonna happen. Like, right now it's very vague. Oh, I definitely like the look of these crates. Nothing dangerous in those, I'm sure. I don't know, man. I lost the CD. Wait, 
When does this take place? Why are you throwing such a hissy fit over 50 cents? Oh, really? Well, you done goofed, boys. Okay, we're in World War II times. That makes a bit more sense. I'm sailing away. Convenient lightning strike. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We uh we might have ourselves a, a return of the living dead situation here. Am I gonna be fighting Tarman? Please tell me I'm gonna be fighting Tarman. That would fucking rock. Why are you showing me a picture of my son? What? Hold on. His eyes are way too big for his head. Huh. That was weird. Okay, I think I'm in control. Oh, it's letterboxed. The gameplay itself is letterboxed. That's interesting. What do we have here? Yeah, cute kid indeed. To Pops, come back soon. Aww. I'll try, buddy. Okay, then. Um, Can I walk a little faster than this? Or I guess he's hungover, so I guess he can't. Whoa! That's one way to start the game. Quick, grab his wallet. <laughs> we found a key of some sort. Yeah, let's take it. Might be useful. And then let's just completely ignore the fact that there's a dead pe person on the floor instead of, you know, fucking panicking. Can I examine him anyway, other than this, or... Nope. Well, this is unfortunate. I don't think there's much else I can do in here right now, because we're in, like, the early stages of the game, so... Let's just get the fuck out. Oh, it was locked from the inside. Why? Why would you lock a sick bay from the inside? What the fuck? Hmm. All right. Well, I don't seem to have a lot of options on where to go, so. <laughs> he was hiding from Tarman, says the chat. Throwing my own joke back at me, huh? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Get me out of here already. Sure. <laughs> oh, who does your hair, buddy? <laughs> Looks like you look like a Lego figure. Let's get out of here. Jesus. God damn. Look at Emmett the Master Builder over here. Whoa. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh, keep calm. Ooh. In time with a heartbeat. Oh shit. Um, wait. Do I hold it or? Oh, we do not want to get shot. Go 
away, buddy. Oh, that doesn't look good. Okay. Wonder what he's freaking out about. All right. All right. That's probably the third time you say something like that, but I agree. What the hell? What was that? Nah, eh, probably nothing. Just the wind. <laughs> Yeah, let's follow it. Seems like a a wise decision. What are you looking at over here? Anything interesting? Well, we can go through this door or... God, can I please move a little faster? Something shiny over here. What's being shiny? Oh. Well, I guess I made that choice. I failed. Let's try again. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to open that. You know, I haven't actually watched the Oily Maniac. Whoa! Another one. Oh, you're taking this way too well, buddy. I do have the Oily Maniac on DVD, I've just never gotten around to watching it. Well, I guess that's the direction we're going. Hmm. Let's see here. What's with his hands? Why are his hands frozen? I mean... Jeez, dude. <laughs> Wash your shirts. I mean, you do remember that these two got pissed drunk the night before and were just thrown in the sick bay? They haven't had a time to wash, exactly. Oh, nice shot. Oh, <laughs> there's some classic horror movie shit right here. Hold. Oh, thank God. Finally. Wait. What button? L1? Why L1? And he barely moves faster at all. Hmm. Nope. Not getting through that. I have not seen the Greasy Strangler, but I also own that one on DVD. I know, man. We've only found like three corpses. Well, once again. Kid. No. Feeling all right? What kid? Hmm. Well then. Boy, they're not giving me a lot to interact with. Charlie, get over here. More corpses. Hmm. Some of them just look like they're photobombing, honestly. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let's... <laughs> oh, sure. I get the knife. Oh, actually, that's that's Lego Man who got the knife. Cool, I have the gun.
oh, I have a ton of movies on my shelf that I never got around to watching. I really ought to do something about that. It's just meant then I find other things I want to watch, and then other things become available, and like I don't know. Plus, when I buy movies, I usually buy them in bulk from like sales or something, so. So I kind of accumulate stuff. I better pay attention to this, by the way. I have a feeling things are about to get real. Oh God, no. What? What's happening with Charlie? Children laughing. Always a pleasant sound in horror games. What is actually happening right now? Oh, he's hiding from the atom bomb in there. Do I okay, I'll just shoot a kid. I guess. I probably could have chosen not to do that. But we'll have to live with it. And it's empty. Oh. Well, I think I just got a heart attack. That's what I get for shooting a shadow kid. Well then. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone I don't know Tin Tin, can they? Oh, that doesn't look good. What exactly? Oh, I'm sure the power of Christ will compel him. Up. Oh. Took a bit of a tumble there, huh, buddy? Come on, man. Can we at least get the kills on screen? Well, I think everybody on that boat is dead. Where's the frame rate buggy, I wonder? Maybe it's because I don't have a PS4 Pro. Oh, this is very much like, uh, Oh Death in Until Dawn. Real cool. <laughs> That's sudden hot rock, though. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to break into Hell Broke Loose. I had a good home, but I left! Left, right, left. I had a good home, but I left. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, Sadako. I guess this is supposed to be like the main the main theme for dark pictures as a whole this is very night gallery hello sir don't you give me that knowing smile That was a very Dutch angle there. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. 
my repository. My repository. So is he going to be our Rod Serling? Oh, so the ship we were just on is actually a real ship where the crew disappeared. Interesting. I'm being told in the chat. He totally is the Rod Serling of this thing. Awesome! Imagine, if you will, a ship full of moronic soldiers. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die yep. by them. That's how, the, that's how this works. Fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is a tax one pays for... But don't wax philosophical with me. Eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on... I'm sure you will. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some... So like finding the totems in Until Dawn. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make... Best yeah, ex exactly like the totems. Okay. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again. So you're not going to psychoanalyze me to change the story, huh? Because that was... <laughs> if you recall, in Until Dawn, you like got psychoanalyzed at first. You had to like pick stuff you were afraid of or uh, stuff you liked and such. And it would subtly... Well, not subtly. It would affect the main scares you saw in the game. It was definitely the least subtle part of that game. So I'm I'm kind of happy they didn't put that in here. Because it was like, are you afraid of uh, scarecrows or spiders? And whatever one you chose, that would show up as a jump scare at some point. Like, it was a little, a little too simple. Brad, Alex's brother. Innocent. Aww. Wow, he sure is innocent. He's carrying like two beers. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. Insecure, but motivated. Here you go, buddy. Have all my two beers. We got enough? If we went out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. You've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Maybe you could show me... I have dived once actually when I was on vacation in Egypt when I was like 12. So obviously not very deep, but uh, it was fun. Oh, oh shit, I, I'm not sure what I'm responding to, so I had to work. Let's say that. I wanted to. I just didn't, didn't have time. You know, I had to work all the time. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Whoa, whoa, careful. That dive can is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say this? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret like Jesus. Excuse me for being worried about my things. Not good with people. I was invited, man. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are. But you're not. Jesus! Speaking of being cool, you might being a little nicer, buddy? If we're supposed to be brothers, you really, really gotta shape up. It's been two weeks. Must be tough. Let's be let's be sympathetic. Yeah, I gotcha. Must be tough. Don't worry, dude. Huh? 
Conrad doesn't think we have enough fuel. You don't. You have like two. Because I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Oh, there's more there. That helps. This does look like a fairly nice hey. boat, though. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's a uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice. So yeah, what is it? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. Give it some thought. You haven't told me what it is. All right, I'm gonna be the careful brother. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Here they are. Hey. Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, excited and reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother, foolhardy, relaxed, looks like fucking Barney Stinson. <laughs> And yeah, it is Ice Man. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch this, bitch. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard you. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, uh, likewise. Nice hey, man. You wanna crack the Boy, you do not waste time. I wanna party with this guy. Uh, yeah, cool. I get CC. Let's be cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't say it like that, douche. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Cut off my ship? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like Conrad so far. Uh, never all the time. What? <laughs> um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, together. baby. Together. Wait until your girlfriend is looking away, please. <laughs> Where's the old crush bucket skipper anyway? Fliss, captain of the Duke of Milan. Courageous and impatient. Yep, we need to have two ass shots. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh <laughs> Look at Conrad. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Just like that, huh? Uh you're young and I'm dying. <laughs> Conrad is like if Fred from Scooby-Doo had a personality. I kind of like him. <laughs> yep, seasick. Like, immediately. <laughs> Why did you come if you get seasick? Yeah. You, uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. She's immediately tired of everybody's shit. Yes, um, Mystery Ink Fred was definitely the best one. I liked him. Pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on this ice ship. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with ice. Yeah. Wait, he's specifically looking for the Medan? If it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know. A nice dive. Brad did his homework. Brad was so sure. Uh, Brad was so sure. Why are you looking specifically for the Medan? Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really going to find a needle in a haystack? I'm going to go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What are these guys trying to do exactly? Yeah. Ooh. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Oh, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. 
Oh, yeah, I might not have been paying good enough attention, so that might be it. Who cares? Can't dive? Why are both my options so douchey? I can choose to say nothing. Uh, whatever. We'll go with this. Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look... We the captain of your fly. fucking ship! As long as they're quick. Don't touch them, please. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few... I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you can Yeah, like, a professional saying, hey, diving here might not be a good idea, so don't dive there. This is how thing went wrong in... Oh, fuck, what's it called? This is how thing went, things went wrong in the descent. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Wait, who was I supposed to... Oh, here we go. Good to go. Good to know. Thanks for paying. Need a hand? Let's just let's not make it weird. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. Probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our what? at the moment. Play it cool for now. Make what? Making a fortune in the script. Nope. Play it, play it cool. Yeah. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. Take it the fuck easy, Catwoman. Don't force her. Jeez. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final checks together. Cool. Call at us when you're ready. Let's talk to Conrad. He's a party bro. Conrad. There's a little gap in the sail. Take a look. Uh, what do you want me to see here? Ooh. Hmm. Interesting pictures. Yeah. Oh, so we can actually enter the boat. I don't think that's a good idea, guys. <laughs> Why would you do that? All right, cool. Uh, where did my brother go? Oh, wait. Was he the one sitting there? No, that was, uh... I'm already forgetting their names. Where the fuck... Where'd he go? Oh, he's downstairs. I couldn't tell that was a way down. Alright, let's go find him. Is he having himself a lie down? He's not here. So, Oh, wait. Ooh. Well, that told me absolutely fucking nothing. Kitchen? I will say, this looks like a nice boat. I wouldn't mind taking a, like, a day trip on this. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry, you should know better. Ah, let's be nice. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Was more than that, just a script trip. Get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Yeah, see, you can be a decent human being for five minutes when you try. Well, what do we have here? What's this? I'm not sure if Lily will let uh, what do we have? Oh, yeah, let's just go through her shampoo. I'm sure this isn't creepy. You only smell those things at once. You made her happy. Can I check out the book? Shroud of Innocence. 
Apparently not. All right, I think we've seen everything there is to see down here. So let's go talk to our brave captain. Unless there's another thing over here to check out first. Wait. Why is that locked? Is that the bathroom? All right, off, up we go. <laughs> Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect them. Sorry about earlier, we paid a lot for this. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody just is a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules. Hey guys, and laws and customs. Are These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have? Clearly fucking none. Dived a couple of wrecks enough to know the rules. That's not a good... None of these are good answers. Ah, fuck it. Uh, enough to know the rules. Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Hmm. Who's gonna know? I get it how much... Motherfucker! Alright, who's gonna know? Anyone else out here? He's gonna know. He logged a route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two yeah. and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. You know what? I can't. You, you can you refuse can't to anchor. You can turn the boat around. You can actually do a lot of things. If you have due cause. But all right, sure. No, you can't do anything. Hmm. Felice, Felicite Dubois. I don't know how to pronounce that, so we'll just call it Fliss. Uh, the instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated specialty uh, sanctioned by Dive Master. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Born in 83. that back where we found it also why are you leaving your card around like this doesn't seem smart how are we doing out here okay so this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup it takes all that co2 that you normally just exhale into the water and instead it gets totally reused then it reduces the compression time on your way out Stated sounds interesting Whoa, 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 is your beaver? You better check your O2 first. Thanks for setting me straight. Looking good. Thanks for setting me straight. I'm gonna try to be as nice as this game will allow. Okay, you little clown fishes. I think I see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. A knife, just in case. Take or... T oh, um, I'm gonna take that camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> yeah, sure. Could you look a little less asleep? All right, kids. Here she goes. Let's talk to her for a moment. Fliss's attitude or later tonight. Okay, Fliss's attitude. Fliss better not be pissy this whole trip. Yeah, she should remember who's signing the checks. Very large checks. She's <laughs> the one in charge. You pay her to be in charge. What the fuck? You rich douchebags! God damn! Oh, what the hell? What do you need to- What?!